Hey guys, welcome to a YouTube video. Today I'm just going to show you a few of my projects I've been working on and I hope you enjoy. So this is the first project I've ever started and this was my little pond. It has a couple crawfish in here which sometimes come out at night. There's goldfish, lots of mosquito fish and a whole bunch of baby crawfish. You can see some of the baby crawfish down there. Little plant area to filter, doesn't need a filter or an air pump because all the plants put air in the water. They've been fine out here for a couple um, months, so if you don't have any money for a filter or a pump, you can just use plants like this. This has been working for me. None of them have died. And yeah, it's really cool. And this is one of my newest projects. It is a hermit crab enclosure. They can survive in water for a couple of hours if they have oxygen in the water, so I have some plants in here. And yeah, so he can go in the water, which is fresh water, so he can have a drink. It gets all the salt from in the beach sand which I put in here and he's been crawling around here for the last couple of hours I've been watching him can't find him at the moment because I lost him but yeah this is one of my favorite projects I've ever done and I'm going to go get him a friend today since I just found some money in my bag nice. and yeah hope you enjoy this is another one of my favorite projects this is a dog filter water bowl which has fish in it and plants to filter the water so there's no chlorine so then it doesn't hurt the, the lawn and yeah some frogs go in here sometimes it's a whole bunch of snails and yeah this is basically a dog water bowl which is all filtered and it has fish in it and stuff so it's basically like like a mini pond for the dogs this is made out of plastics so don't use metal when you do it and it's suspended by these treated wood so it doesn't go moldy and yeah, just got this from the op shop for 15 bucks when I made it. And this is a little bit of inspiration for you guys. You might be able to build some for your cats or dogs. My cat personally loves this and she drinks out of it. So yeah, hope you enjoy the next one. This is the crawfish I'm trying to pair with another one. If you've seen my other video, I'm pairing them. And yeah, he's doing pretty well. At, well, she is doing pretty well at the moment. She had a clutch of eggs, but she ate them. And yeah. This is my glass shrimp tank, which is mostly full of sna snails at the moment, which I'm just breeding. And yeah, there's some glass shrimp in here, which I'm breeding, and I'm going to put them in the pond soon. So yeah, that's basically all. If I find any more, I'll, let, I'll show you. These are all my cockroaches that I'm breeding. I've just fed them a whole apple yesterday, and this is how much I've eaten. And yeah, this is my yeah cockroaches. I need to fill up the water, since they drink out of that. Yes, there's a couple hundred in here, Enemy everywhere. Spot. No! Um, God, yeah, please, no! 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 So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, no! and I'll see you guys next time. These are my worms, which have a couple million of them ah! here, and yeah, I've been breeding them. There's a black widow right over there. Not that finest of creatures. They really hurt. Yeah, these are my worms. Not really much to explain, apart from that. They produce a lot of worm wing, which has tons, I mean tons, of mosquito larvae. Need to pour that into the garden soon. Right, hope you enjoyed. See ya. So guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the video so far. And I'll upload another one very soon. I'm just going to figure out what to do. And I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.